An introduction to Watterson Phoenix. Watterson Phoenix estimates water supply and demand for the Phoenix metropolitan area. Users can explore how water sustainability is influenced by various scenarios of regional growth, drought, climate change impacts, and water management policies. WaterSim is implemented by Decision Center for a Desert City within Julianne Wrigley Global Institute of Sustainability at Arizona State University. WaterSim Phoenix is supported by Arizona Community Foundation, the Smithsonian Institution in Arizona Humanities. Regions. Upon opening the model at watersim.phoenix.org, regions will be displayed on the graph called water source that contains a tab on the top right corner. This tab allows the user to choose an area within the Phoenix region and the options include Phoenix, Scottsdale, Buckeye, Chandler, Gilbert, or regional. Pick a region or city that the user ought to focus on for the assignment that goes with the model. Policy choices. After adjusting the location for the model, there are sustainability indicators and policy choices on the following axes of the model. Use the policy choices to manipulate the water supply for the selected region based off of the selected stakeholder for the user. After you have adjusted the policy choices, be sure to click Run Model in order for the changes to be applied. There are quite a few policy choices to be addressed. For more information about the policy choices, click on the question mark. Sustainability indicators. As you manipulate the policy choices, the user will be able to observe the sustainability indicators to track the results or trade-offs caused by policy choices made. For instance, as the user increases the wastewater reclaim, this improves the environmental indicator. Each of the numbers under the sustainability indicators represents the levels at which they are at. There are five sustainability indicators, groundwater, environment, agricultural production, water use, and assure supply. The current sustainability indicator results are marked in each box, with previous settings below each box. This image shows the indicators at initial policy settings, thus the parentheses dot dot dot, tells us that there was no setting before this one. Clicking on each image in WaterSim will give you additional information about each indicator. Output graphs. The next feature on WaterSim Phoenix model is the four output graphs available. Supply, water availability, demand, water used, reservoirs, water coming from surface water supplies, and sustainability, a graphical representation of the sustainability indicators. There was also a tab for inputs that will be discussed later. The next output is demand, which is represented by acre feet per thousand and allows visual comparison of the cities or regions and their water use. The output of reservoirs and rivers illustrates the water acre feet by million in Lake Mead and Lake Powell. The output of sustainability allows students to compare the sustainability indicators such as agricultural, sustainability indicator, water use sustainability indicator, environmental indicator, percent demand met by groundwater, and the year's pumping can be sustained. The input of climate or river flows is divided into three sections. The climate effect of ravine flows allows students to alter the historical flows of the Salt Verde and the Colorado while also determining the predefined climatic effect on the river flows. The drought effect on the river flows can be adjusted at the bottom, allowing a preset drought scenario. The 30-year flow record provides four categories to determine the magnitude and pattern of the water flow. The flow of water can be low, median, high flow, and high flow annual variability. As you adjust the model, be sure to observe the output graphs and sustainability indicators. Water challenge, population growth. The year is 2050, population and water demands have grown in your state. Water supply and demands need to be managed to provide enough water to maintain a sustainable region. This includes water for agricultural production, Colorado River habitats, human health and comfort, and economic opportunity, which includes commercial, industrial production, and population growth. The chart illustrates the policy choices applied to your water source. 
as you can see, each of the categories are wastewater reclaimed, farm water used by cities, water for the Colorado Delta, per capita water use, and population growth. These areas will be of primary focus for each represent an important influence that impacts the other areas. Students manipulate these policy choices. The question mark is supposed to provide more information about each topic. The sustainability of community water systems may be evaluated using indicators. The five indicators presented here represent the state of community values toward water supply and use. Each indicator represents a different aspect of water sustainability, but what is considered sustainable may vary from person to person. Clicking on each image in WaterSim will give you an additional information about each indicator. The current sustainability indicator results are marked in each box with the previous settings below each box. Select and adjust the policy choices and review them before running the model. Be aware of the trade-offs. An example is lowering the per capita water use percentage could help conserve water, but it could also decrease the quality of life for residents. Reduce certain sustainability indicators by selecting policies that are connected to indicators, then press Run Model button. Watch for changes in your charts and indicators. You should notice the previous settings have been placed in the parentheses showing previous decisions. Continue to adjust the policy choices until you've reached a desirable and sustainable water solution. If you are struggling to delegate a sustainable solution, rank the policies in order of importance from highest to lowest priority. When you are finished, click on all of the tabs and investigate how your policy choices have impacted specific areas. There are four different types of output graphs, supply, demand, rivers and reservoirs, and sustainability. Record your findings based off of these graphs.